Everybody, their, their hearts are broken. It really is a kick in the teeth, I'll tell you. The 200 residents of Beaverdale in shock after losing their hotel. The Beaverdale Hotel went up in flames early Monday morning, reducing the 1901 structure to ashes. Tony Sardina helped fight the fire. Well, the whole roof caved in and the sides started to crumble in. Yeah, not good. Monique Tanner owns a business across the street. And as I'm standing here, I could hear my windows popping and the wood was actually smoking. For many, losing the hotel yeah, is a blow. It was a good old hotel, huh? <laughs> Spent lots of good times in there, played music in there. Had good times. Sad. Very sad. It's very sad. It's like losing a person. One of the firemen just said it best. He said, we just lost our oldest resident. Lorna Hollingsworth is the local expert on the hotel. She says it was the heart of the community. Everybody or anybody that had a birthday, or a wedding, or even a funeral, or anything good that, or bad that happened in the town. People went over to the hotel. It was like a front room. This was Beaverdale's hotel. However, it wasn't the people's hotel. You see, there was a bit of a feud in the community dealing with the locals versus the owner operator of the hotel. In fact, the locals say that they were refused service at one point. As for the cause of this fire, Officials say it is suspicious. Ironically, about a month ago, the owner-operator of this hotel, his house burnt down in the Beaverdale area, and the cause of that fire is also deemed as suspicious. In Beaverdale, Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.